What's going on YouTube? Gsn right here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create stunning presentations for school or work using AI. And we're going to use a software called Work PPT. This one allows you to create PowerPoint presentations or keynote presentations using AI. So you just feed it the information about the topic or even a file, and it will generate nice presentations for you. To find it, you go here to softooler.com and here to product and work PPT. This is an AI PowerPoint generator. Once you sign in with an account, you have this in here, AI slide, AI chat, AI PDF, AI summarizer, and a couple of other things. So you can choose in here between 11 and 20 cards. You can go ahead and choose between one and 10 cards and so on, or you can even make it bigger, 21 to 33. And this is quite simple to use. It's like any other AI tool you've ever used. There is a text box where you can type and tell it in any language. For example, make me a presentation about cats or the domestic cat or anything you would like to, but you can also upload a file. And this is important important because this means that you can upload your school notes or maybe if you created an outline in a Word document or something like that. So I have for this example a PDF file over here and this one is a PDF file of the domestic cat. This is from Wikipedia. It's a big information PDF file containing everything about their skeleton, their ancestry, everything. So we're going to take this document over here and condense it down using Work PPT to create a nice PowerPoint presentation in just a couple of minutes. It. So what you need to do is just upload the file with the research like this. As you can see, it already has some important information over here. I can just generate my presentation based on that. But the very important step is selecting the template and the template you select should match the topic you're writing about. There are a lot of templates in here for various things like multipurpose ones, minimalist ones. There is ones about art. There is ones about technology, marketing. You can see over here business ones. And these essentially would fit a business or corporate scenario quite well. They're not overly colored or too colored cartoonish or too kiddy. They're more serious, more streamlined for the corporate market. And then you have in here marketing and then you have technology over here. These match very well newer technologies like AR, VR, stuff like that. And then you have nature over here, softer colors, more natural. And then of course, company related. Again, more on the corporate side, more on the business serious side. Then education. This would work well in school, in high school. They would have the perfect colors for that. And then of course you have food over here and animal. This is where we would find our perfect template. And as you can see, you have parrots, you have whales, butterflies, but there are a couple of them with cats too. There is first this one over here, darker colored, but this does look pretty nice. However, I would prefer a lighter themed one. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. As you can see, there's a cartoonish one over here. And looking further, there's this one over here with cats, but also this one. This one looks quite okay because it's not overly serious, but at the same time, it is a more serious looking template. So it would work well for school. It would work well for maybe a vet. I'm going to go press the plus button over here and this will use the template and start writing. As you can see, it's writing in real time and it's adding the images. It's adding the information. You just sit back and relax. And don't worry. You will be able to edit this after that. Now, as you can see, the PowerPoint presentation is now done. We can go through it and yeah, it's nicely done over here. It's using the information from our PDF file. So we know that the information is accurate. Of course, you can double check check it before downloading it and you can edit anything that wouldn't work for you. And yes, this does look very nice. So you can see we also have a thank you page over here. It says work PPT. We can write our name in here and let me show you how easy it is to edit the presentation after it was generated. Let's say I want to change the work PPT over here with my company name. In this case, I'm going to just click on it and type. I can just say that LLC. Then I was able to change that. You can even change the photos, move them around like this. You can crop them, you can flip them horizontally. For example, I would prefer it to be in line with the rest of the cats. So I flipped it horizontally over here. You can adjust the positioning, bring it to front, bring it to back, send it to back. This would essentially hide it. I'm going to bring it to back so that it's on the first layer. And there's also animation. You can also add an animation like a fade in like this. And in here you have a bar that allows you to insert text, to insert a shape. And here on the shapes you have essentially any single shape you can think of, including non-conventional ones, like literally a t-shirt that you can insert over here. And of course you can color it and so on. You also have in here insert line and insert chart, table, audio and video, and of course logo and an image. So you can use these in here to add anything to the presentation that you want. And if you want to see the slides, you just click the button over here and it will take you to the slides 
slides and you can change to whichever slide you prefer. Now let's say that I want to modify this text over here and add some more information. You can just type, you can just click the text and type. As you can see, I've added this, this is some more information. Yeah, it's as easy as that. Now let's go ahead in here and let's say you want to create an additional slide. You can do so, you go here to slides and of course you add slide and you can see a couple of templates for this slide and you can even make a white one if you want to. But I'm gonna use this over here and I'm gonna delete this components. I'm just going to leave this and I'm going to use the text box. So as you can see, I can create a bigger slide over here and I can customize it the way I want. So let's say this is a slide about cats. The title will be this is a slide about cats. You can go ahead and here on the text settings and you can see we can change it to a title, subtitle, even bigger text. And of course, we can also position it like that and make it bold and even choose the font. You have a couple of fonts to choose from and we have a title now and in here we can just copy some information from the PDF file and I'm going to just go ahead and dump it over here and I'm going to adjust the text. I'm going to make it text small in this case and let's give it some spacing like this and like this and of course I'm going to add a couple more like here and here we go. I created another slide in just a couple of seconds. There's also transitions if you want to use transitions. You can apply them to all of them and animations of course as always and you have the slide now over here and of course once you're done you can just download it or save it. I'm going to download it and it asks a couple of important things like export the PowerPoint, export image or print and export PDF. I'm going to go export it as a PowerPoint file and all over here and export PPTX. This will export it as a PowerPoint file that you can open with PowerPoint, present it and everything. So I'm going to call it presentation, save it on my desktop and here it is. We have now a PowerPoint presentation. Now it's also important to mention that you also have an AI chat over here that you can talk to. So essentially it can write for you, you can do programming, you can choose the model over here like ChatGPT4, 5 and so on. So I'm going to choose ChatGPT4 over there and I'm going to say write a small essay about the calico pattern cat since we're on a cat theme and I'm going to just ask it. It will do exactly what AI usually does. It will take the topic and write for you or answer your question and so on. And yes, as you can see, it did start to write. We can even convert the voice test. That's essentially how this works. And of course, nothing stops you from getting the information from here and adding it to a slide of the presentation. If you feel something is missing or you wanted to add some more information to it, but your research didn't have it. There is also an AI PDF tool over here included. So for example, you can merge PDF files, you can split them, you can obtain pages from them, convert image to PDF or PDF to image and stamp PDF files but also add a watermark. So you can click in here and you can select the file, for example, my PDF file with the cats, and we can have either a text watermark or an image one. The alphabet you can choose over here and then the watermark text. In this case, let's say a device central. You can choose the font size, opacity and rotation and so on. And I'm going to add the watermark over here. It will take a few moments and it will watermark your PDF for you. This is to prevent theft and so on. So I'm going to download the new file over here and if we preview it, you can see that it's now all watermarked and you can select the intensity of the watermark if you think it's too pronounced but you can see it did work it's quite useful to have over here and then you have the AI summarizer you can upload for example a document like this one with the common cat so this will read the article and provide you a summary of the information contained within it so you can see it writing in real time it says the document provides a comprehensive overview of the domestic cat Felis catus exploring its classification domestication history physical characteristics and so on so it would begin telling you what the document itself contains. Very useful if you upload, for example, a bigger research or a booklet or even a book and it will tell you the summary of it. Quite useful, especially if you want to make a presentation or a book review, something like that. So there you have it. This is WorkPPT, creating stunning AI presentations without having to install any software directly from your browser. That's essentially it. Check it out down below. There will be a link available and tell me if you like it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'm Gio Snow. Peace out.